Caillou, dinner's ready. Mm. <gasps> that was awesome! <laughs> mommy, Mommy, I want to learn karate! Hi-ya! Whoppa! <laughs> Settle down, you. You might hurt yourself. Yeah! Whoppa! Yeah! Well, can I, Mommy? Please? I don't see why not. Alrighty! <laughs> you look the part, Caillou. I'm so excited! Well, run along over there to the others. Class is about to start. I'll be right there. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna start with some basic moves today. Then we'll try something extra special. <laughs> First up, knee strike. Itch, knee, sun, chi. Itch, knee, sun, chi. Great. <laughs> Next up, elbow strike. Itch, knee, sun, she. Itch, knee, sun, she. And now, karate chop. Itch, knee, sun, chi. Itch, knee, sun, chi. You okay there? Um, I can't do it. So we go from here. To here, see? Oh. Hmm. Wow, you got it! Great job! <laughs> now, gather round, kids. I want to show you something. Oh. I'm going to show you how to break a piece of wood in half oh. using only your right hand. Karate chop! Wow! Cool! Oh, can we try? <laughs> well, sure! And this one's for you, Caillou, because even though you struggled at first, you worked so hard, and in the end, you got it. Tell Gerald I say hello. <laughs> Good morning, Gerald. Are you excited to come home with me today? I've made you a special area in my room by my bed. It's really nice and warm, and we can play all weekend and... 
Harold? <laughs> Are you still sleeping? It's time for school. Gerald? It's time to come out. <gasps> oh no! Gerald's gone! Gerald? Gerald! Gerald, come out! Good morning, class. Let's all take our places for the... Oh, <laughs> Caillou! <laughs> What are you doing over there? Gerald's missing. Why don't you take your seat, Caillou, and I'll explain. All right, class. As you've realized already, Gerald isn't here anymore. Where is he? Gerald was a very happy hamster, but he was also very old. So I'm afraid last night, while he was sleeping, he died. Died? Yes, but he had a very long life and loved you all very much. But it was my turn to bring him home. Don't worry, Caillou. You can just take him when he comes back. Well, Leo, I'm sorry, but Gerald won't be coming back. When someone dies, they don't come back. So I'm afraid we won't see Gerald again. <laughs> I'm sorry about Gerald, Caillou. He had a good and happy life. I know, but I'm really going to miss him. Not hungry, Caillou? Not even for some ice cream? Ice cream! No thanks. Can I be excused, please? Ah, of course. Mind if I join you? I'm sorry about Gerald, Caillou. I know he was your friend. But do you know what else I know? That you were his friend. You made him very happy. And neither of you will ever forget that. But I won't get to see him or play with him or... I know. But you'll always have the memories you shared. And good memories like those, well, they last forever. <laughs> I think Gilbert's saying he'll play with you if you want. <laughs> Thanks, Gilbert. Today, class, you can all draw anything you want. But it has to be something that makes you really happy. I decided to draw Gerald because he was my friend. He's gone now, and we won't see him again, which is really sad. So I drew my favorite memory of him. My daddy says memories are forever. So now I'll always be able to look at this picture and remember Gerald and feel happy. Goodbye, Gerald. <laughs> Now kids, as you all know, every year the school puts on a performance to celebrate the holidays. This year, we'll be putting on a show to learn about all the different holiday traditions. But we already know about Christmas. Yes, Caillou, but not everyone celebrates Christmas. <laughs> hmm. 
There are lots of other winter holidays, like Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Please take these scripts home and read them through with your parents. I can't believe Hanukkah's going to be part of the show. Hanukkah? Is that what Mrs. Martin was talking about? Yeah, look, that's a Star of David. It's a symbol of Judaism. Hanukkah is celebrated around the same time as Christmas, but instead of getting presents on one day, we get them for eight. <gasps> eight days of presents? Wow! <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! Did you know there are holidays other than Christmas? There's going to be a school show all about it. Oh, how exciting. There are so many different holidays from all around the world. Hey, why don't we all learn about the holidays and practice for the show? Yeah! On the first day of Hanukkah, Jewish people light a candle. And then they add one every day until there are eight. That's because when Jewish people defeated their mean king, they only had enough oil to light their menorah for one night. But it stayed lit for eight whole nights. Eight nights? How? It was a miracle. That's why sometimes we call Hanukkah the Festival of Lights. Daddy, can we have eight days of presents instead? <laughs> you know, Caillou, there's more to the holidays than presents. What all these holidays have in common is that they're all about celebrating love, kindness, mm. and having your friends and family around you. But presents are also nice. <laughs> okay, everyone, it's nearly time. Don't be nervous, try your best, and most importantly, have yeah! fun! <laughs> Kwanzaa started in 1966 to celebrate the first harvest of the season and is celebrated by people with African heritage. We do lots of singing and dancing and give gifts and light our special Kanara candles. The Dongji Festival takes place on the shortest day of the year. Every day after will be longer and bring more positive energy to the world. Oh, and we also get to eat a special dessert made out of rice called Tang Yuan. Yum! At Hanukkah, we light one candle every night for eight nights and give each other presents. We also sing and play with really old toys like dreidels. At Christmas, we celebrate when Jesus was born. We give each other gifts and feel grateful for the friends and family we have. The holidays are about bringing people together. Family, friends, and those who need a helping hand. And even though not everyone celebrates the same holidays, there are a lot of things that we all have in common. All of our holidays are about kindness and love and friendship and... Presents! <laughs>
Look at this, Caillou. Why is that window so tiny, Daddy? It's a window for an archer. From inside, there's plenty of room for arrows to go out. But on the outside, it's very hard to get an arrow in. So it keeps the archers safe. Oh. <gasps> wow. Caillou the Great, what are you doing? I've been working on some magical projects for the king. What kind of projects? Well, the king wants me to make sure there's lots of food for all the people in the kingdom. Watch this. <laughs> wow, Caillou, that was really... on that spell a bit more. going on here? <laughs> Caillou! Caillou! Hello? Uh, uh, sorry, Daddy. You were off in your own world there. I was! I was a wizard, doing a spell, and there was a giant, and the magic spaghetti started to get really big and chase Leo. <laughs> Tag, you're it. Over here, Kai! 
you? Clever boys. <laughs> Daddy, can you look after Jason's backpack while we go to the bathroom? Of course. After my backpack. That was quick. <laughs> no problem, Jason. <laughs> Thanks for looking after my backpack. Can I get it back now? Jason, didn't I just give you your backpack? <laughs> no. We just got back. Oh, shoot. I'm so sorry, Jason. I don't know who I gave it to. <laughs> there. I think... Oh, of course. Jeffrey! <laughs> nice prank. <laughs> My friend? My name's Jason. Jason! That's me. Do you want to see a magic trick, Rosie? Jason! Ta da! <gasps> Jason! <gasps> Jason! <laughs> Don't worry, Rosie. They're twins, see? They just look the same. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Jeffrey. <gasps> Jason's. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for your first fancy New Year's Eve party, Caillou? Why, yes, sir. <laughs> Go on, Caillou. Have fun. <laughs> We've been waiting for you, Caillou. Can you believe they have a fountain inside? Wow! My mom gave us pennies to make wishes. <gasps> I gotta think of a good wish. I wish for my very own treehouse. <laughs> I wish to make a world record for the biggest Bubble gum bubble ever made in the whole world. I wish. 
fish. I... Oh, I wish for... I wish we could all stay awake till midnight to see the fireworks! Oh, that's a good one, Caillou. I don't know. Midnight is really far away. Come on, Leo. We can do it. If we work together, we can do it. Go, Team Fireworks! Hmm. I know. Dancing. Dancing will keep us awake. <laughs> I don't think my plan worked. I'm more tired now than when we started. You know what always gives me too much energy? What? Well, it tastes delicious. My mom doesn't let me have it unless I eat my veggies. And there's a whole table of it right over there. <gasps> Dessert! But my daddy says we're not supposed to have sugar so late. <gasps> It's a special occasion. Hmm. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> We're about to count down. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there, Caillou. It's almost a new year. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Settle down, kids. Today, we're going to learn about Vikings. Does anybody know who the Vikings were? Mm -hmm. Um, they wore pointy hats and fur and sailed in boats, I think. Well, yes, they did, Caillou. Very good. <laughs> and today, Caillou, we're going to make our very own Viking helmets that you can take home with you. <laughs> the Vikings lived hundreds of years ago. They lived in what we now call Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. They traded and traveled all over the world, sailing in longboats they built with their bare hands. Now, they also wore armor and helmets like this one. Today, class, I'd like you to make your own Viking helmet. The materials are on the table. 
You can decorate them however you like, but remember, they need to make you look strong and tough. Great job, Caillou. That's a really scary one. That's recess, kids. <laughs> uh, I'm bored. What should we play? Let's play Vikings! Oh. <laughs> in peace. We need shelter against the storm. Thank you. <laughs> Hello there. How many hot dogs do we need, Caillou? One, two, three, four. Four, please. No problem. Coming right up. Okay, any sauces for you? Hmm. Oh, oh, uh, can I do it, please? Sure, kid. Here you go. Mustard for me, please, Caillou. I'll have ketchup. <gasps> ketchup! Okay, 
Mustard for Mommy. Ketchup for Rosie. I want ketchup and mustard. And ketchup for Daddy. <laughs> well done, Caillou. You're doing a great job. Thanks. Careful, Caillou. Caillou, I suppose it does. <laughs> daddy, Daddy! What is it, Caillou? It's just like the one from the parade. Can I get it, please? <laughs> okay. Today we're going to have a pop quiz. Aww. Now, you know how hard we've been working on our numbers? Well, this is just a little test to see how much you've learned or to see where you might need some extra help. It's nothing to worry about. Now, I'll read out the questions and you just need to write the answers on your sheets. You can turn over your papers now. Question one, how many apples do you see on the page? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Next, how many apples do I have if I add two more? If you're having trouble, draw the extra apples. Six. 
Question three. If I take five apples away, how many are left? <gasps> Next up are some questions about shapes. <gasps> now, how many sides does a square have? Oh no, not shapes. Next, can you draw a triangle? Uh. 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 Caillou, were you looking at Leo's paper? Uh. No, Mrs. Martin, I, I promise I... I'll see you after class, Caillou. Great work, class. Now go on out for recess. Please hand your papers in to me on your way out. <laughs> Not you, Caillou. Take a seat, please. Now, Caillou, do you understand why you failed the test? It's because you cheated, Caillou, and cheating is wrong, isn't it? I didn't cheat, Mrs. Martin. Then why were you looking over at Leo's paper? I... I didn't mean to. I was... <sighs> now, Caillou, it's okay to admit you made a mistake. We all make them sometimes. The important thing is to own up and do better in the future. I'm not good at shapes, and I was worried I'd get the wrong answers. So, uh, I cheated. I'm sorry. Thank you for telling the truth, Caillou. You should never cheat, but you should always ask for help if you need it. If you're finding shapes hard, then I can give you some extra help in class, okay? Hmm. How does that sound? Yeah, I like that. Thanks, Mrs. Martin. Good. Well, some of recess is left. Why don't you go out and play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Caillou? Maybe we can go through the test together later. Without cheating. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Martin. Rosie, do you think we should fly higher and reach the stars? <laughs> should we go higher? Rosie, it's not what you think. Miss Rosie, we're ready for you. You'll see, Rosie. It's okay. I'll go with you. Can I? Sounds like a great idea. <sighs> Hop on right here, Miss Rosie. <laughs> Dr. Joseph will be right with you. The first
first time I went to the dentist, I was scared too. I was even scared of the mask the dentist wears. But lots of people wear masks. Like this. <gasps> Cowboys and firefighters and dentists wear masks. <laughs> Rosie want too. Coming right up, Captain Rosie. Pilots wear masks too, so they can talk to their co-pilots. <sighs> Can you hear me, Captain Rosie? <gasps> <laughs> See, masks just help people do their jobs. But... Ghost! <laughs> oh, sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean to laugh at you. It might look scary, but that's just a lab coat, not a ghost. <gasps> it's a dentist uniform. Looks like you have very nice teeth, <laughs> Miss Rosie. I think that if... <laughs> you okay, Caillou? <laughs> Caillou funny. Not scary, see? But you know what the best thing about the dentist is, Rosie? What? Dentists do the magic that make your teeth shine. Shine like stars. if you call her Captain Rosie. Good tip. Well, Captain Rosie, you ready to blast off? Ha <laughs> ha! 